Hey everyone, Mike Mulligan here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am a certified orientation mobility specialist. And today I wanna to talk about the magnification feature that is built in free in iPhones and iPads for orientation and mobility purposes. So for those of you who don't know, iPhones and iPads come with a free built-in accessibility feature uh, that you can use your phone or iPad for magnification. And this can really be helpful in many different settings, including orientation and mobility. So I'd like to start this video by giving an overview of how to access this feature and how to navigate it and even change some of the settings. So that way when I give some real life demonstrations of how this can be helpful in orientation and mobility, uh, you'll be comfortable with how to access this on your own. And one last thing I wanted to mention before I dive into the tutorial demonstration is uh, this is not gonna work for everybody, but if you have some functional vision, it might be worth trying just to see if it will be a helpful tool for you to have in your tool belt. So now I'm gonna give you a demonstration of how to access the magnifier on either an iPhone or iPad. In front of me here, I have an iPhone X, uh, so it's gonna be very similar how to do this with an iPhone X or newer, um, but if you have an older iPhone or iPad, uh, it'll also be very similar. You just have a home button that I don't have here on the phone in front of me. So to access the magnifier, it's really quite simple. Uh, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to settings. So I'm gonna tap settings. And after I tap settings, I'm gonna scroll down until I find the accessibility tab. So when I find the accessibility tab, I'm gonna tap that. And the top section here are different accessibility features for vision. So I'm gonna look for magnifier. Once I find that, which is the third one down, I'm gonna tap that. And then I have two options here, an auto adjust exposure and magnifier. And I'm just gonna turn the magnifier on. And there's a little toggle tab here that I'm gonna tap. And that turns to green. So now the magnifier is available to use. So now that I have the green toggle switch on, uh, to access the magnifier, I'm going to be hitting the side button on the top right of the phone uh, three times quickly. And that will give me the option to turn the magnifier on. So first I'm gonna remove uh, the settings, go back to the home screen, and then I'm gonna tap three times quickly uh, the side button. And I have two options here. You might just have one that says magnifier, but I also have the option to turn voiceover on. But I'm gonna turn the magnifier on now by tapping that. So now the magnifier is on, and in front of me here I have a box propped up against the wall, the top of a box and I'm gonna just demonstrate some of the features of the magnifier. So the magnifier has several different features. Um, the first one I wanna show is zooming in and zooming out, really the basic feature. Um, it, there's two ways to do this, um, and both are pretty simple. Um, first, I'm gonna tilt the screen here a little bit to make it a little easier to see. Um, but if I scroll up on the screen, it zooms in. If I swipe down on the screen, it zooms out. And there's also a little toggle bar here that if you drag right, zooms in, drag left, zooms out. And it can zoom in quite far. Um, so you, that's pretty, pretty awesome how far it can zoom in. Um, one thing you know, notice, I'm not even holding it, I'm using a tripod, and it's still kind of shaky. So if you feel that what you're zooming in on is a little too shaky, you can lock the screen by hitting this white circle button. And when you lock the screen like that, it's essentially taking a picture, um, but you can lock the screen and then you can zoom in and zoom out without the picture all uh, jumping around and all wobbly. And to unaccess that when you're done, you just hit the circle again, and then you're back into uh, what I like to call live mode. So another pretty cool feature is um, there is a tab here to turn the camera light on or off. So if you tap that, uh, it turns the light on, turns the light off. A little hard to tell here because uh, it's pretty bright, but in a dim area that could be really helpful, say in a restaurant where you're trying to look at a menu. Um, and then one last thing I wanna show you is if you tap the bottom right tab, it looks like three circles, uh, that gives you the option to uh, change different contrast and colors. So uh, now I tapped white blue, there's a yellow blue, a gray scale, and there's quite a few um, that are worth kind of looking through, seeing what might work best. Um, you could also change the brightness. 
and the other contrast here. And then another cool feature is you could invert the colors by hitting the bottom left uh, tab. Yep, and then when you're done with that, you can hit the bottom right tab again, and that takes you back to live mode. And then one last thing I want to show you is if you lock the screen, you can save this as a picture into your camera roll by holding down, and it gives you the option you can either share what you're looking at, or you can tap to save the image to the camera roll. And then when you're all done with the magnifier, all you got to do is, uh, with an iPhone X or newer, or if you uh, is to swipe up from the bottom and that'll get rid of the magnifier or if you have an older iPhone or iPad you can just hit the home button and it brings you back to the home screen. And there you go. So that's just the basics on how to use the magnifier. I definitely recommend uh, trying it out, see which uh, features work best for you. Um, and now I'm going to show you some real life demonstrations that are going to be really helpful for orientation and mobility purposes. So my first real life orientation and mobility example is using the magnification function as a way of accessing maps. So you might have a map for many different reasons, but the magnifier is a good way of accessing maps that might be too small of print or too hard to see normally. So I have the magnifier here, I'm putting in front of uh, the camera here and pointing at the map. And again, similar as I was doing with the box demonstration, you can zoom in zoom out. Uh, you can also change the color contrast for what might work for you. Another cool thing I like is um, when you have it to the color contrast you want, you can lock the screen, essentially taking a picture, and you can save that to your camera roll. So you could always have that with you um, so you don't have to have uh, the map with you, you can just take a picture of it magnified. So that's the first uh, O&M example I have for you. <laughs> for my next real life example, many times if someone is taking an Uber or a Lyft, they want to confirm if they're taking the right vehicle. And one way to do that is by checking license plates. So I'm going to show you a way to use the magnifier uh, for this car here. And you could zoom in and lock it as a way of confirming the license plate. Uh, you can also use this for the make and model, but this is a good way just to give you an extra uh, reassurance that this is uh, the right car that you're looking to get into. Another practical example is using the magnifier to confirm if you're at the right house um, by checking the house address. So that house is across the street. Um, it's a little bit far, but I'm able to zoom in. It's a little shaky because it's far, but I can see uh, the 185 address house number. So that's a good way to confirm that you're at the right address or house. And another good example is to use the magnifier as a way of checking uh, street names or street signs. So I'm gonna pull up the magnifier here again, just to demonstrate. So across the street there, there's a um, street sign. So once I kind of lock onto the street sign, it helps to kind of go up the pole um, I can find the street sign, how it says Lodge Street. Again, I could zoom in more if I need to. I could also change the contrast. I could try to lock it. Uh, that way I can zoom in and more or save the picture. Um, so that's another good way of using um, the magnifier to look up street signs or street names. And then for my final example is using the magnifier as a way of checking pedestrian signals as well as street lights. So I can have the magnifier, I can try and find the pole, and then I can zoom in to see if the signal is a walk or a not walk. So that's another good example of how you can use the magnifier. So if you have an iPhone or iPad and you think you would benefit from having some magnification or um, some color contrast, I would definitely recommend practicing this and trying it. See if it works for you. Um, why not? If you have an iPhone or iPad, it's free. It's easy to try. And just see if it's the right fit for you. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video was helpful in learning how this magnification feature can be helpful for orientation and mobility. Have a wonderful day.